It's quite the find. Hello friends and welcome back to Crow's Thrifty Finds. My name is Melanie. So for this week's video, I'm yet again going to do something a little different, trying to just spice it up on my channel here. <laughs> So I honestly did not have a ton of time this week. Uh, my regular full-time job was super, super, super busy. And then actually my sales week on eBay was also pretty busy. So not only was I dealing with tons of patients in my mental health counselor practice, I'm also dealing with tons of sales, which is great. But this is not a sales video. Um, I am going to talk about a find that I got recently that is definitely a bolo. Um, and that stands for be on the lookout for those of you that don't know. I wondered for a while myself what a bolo was. So I feel like I'm helping others by, <laughs> by letting them know that's what it stands for. So, um, this is a bolo, this item, and it's definitely a rare item. So, you know, odds... Odds of finding it may not be great, but beyond this one item, I want to talk about just this category of something in general. And now, as you all know, I've done quite a bit of toy videos um, or plush videos, you know, different types of toys that are good to pick up. I've done quite a few videos like that if you look through my, my video library here on YouTube. And this week's find was a toy and it's a, a very good one and it is a toy from the movie toy story <laughs> so toy story has a lot of collectible toys and it can be kind of challenging to know which ones which i will say that because there's a lot of woodies and buzz light years out there that kind of all look the same but with the right research uh you will learn that there are many, many, many different uh, variations that are out there that are valuable. I'm gonna throw up just some general comps of Toy Story toys that are out there. And you can see on the screen there, now these, these are big, big, big money. Toy Story items can go in the hundreds and beyond. Infinity and beyond, ha ha ha. <laughs> so maybe you're wondering, well, Melanie, what did you find? What are you what are you going to do show and tell with us today? And that is a great question. So this find came off of Facebook Marketplace. It was interesting because she originally had the posting set for $125. Uh, but then at the end of the day, she asked me only for $100. So let's check out the item that... I got. This is Ultimate Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story 3. He is new in box. This is an incredibly rare toy. Uh, comps have sold for this guy used uh, in the 200s. So you kind of figure generally um, you can get close to twice that, uh, if not twice that, for it when it's new. Uh, there aren't a lot of new ones out there to compare. Um, so not a ton of comps out there, but um, there have been some uh, that I saw in Terapeak that have sold uh, in the mid 200s with really high shipping, like way more than it cost to actually ship it. So it ended up coming to like $300, I think was what I saw in Terapeak. Um, it'll cost a little to ship this. This is a pretty large toy, but, but here's... Here's what's really sweet about this purchase off of Marketplace. I didn't just get one of these for $100. I got two of them. Now this one's box is really sun faded. This is not, and there's kind of a miscellaneous gross something of a stain on the back. It almost looks like a cat threw up on it, which is kind of gross. But I'm going to take some Lysol wipes to that. This one I have not taken photos of and listed yet. But this one also has a little bit of box damage um, down by, um, down here. So, but to get two of these incredibly rare, incredibly valuable Buzz Lightyear toys for 
a hundred dollars so that's you know fifty dollars each there's a lot of money on the table here i mean you know will i will i actually get 400 or close to it i i'm not so sure um i listed one for 360 and we'll see you know if that one sells really fast i just listed it yesterday but you know if that one sells fast maybe i'll up up the price you know on the next one but if this one takes a while to sell um at 360 then you know maybe not as much profit but still definitely a great payday so sometimes you got to spend money to make money but a hundred dollars for what could potentially be eight hundred dollars or close to it worth of buzz close to eight hundred worth of buzz light years that's not too bad now keep in mind you know i'm gonna lose some money on ebay fees on a really expensive item like this you know you're figuring you're gonna lose you know 14 percent plus depending on how much you promote i usually promote it like two percent i i don't feel safe not promoting actually but but yeah there's tons upon tons of of money uh in profits here and to have two of two of this rare toy uh available to you is is highly unusual and definitely worthy of the find of the week award that i've just made up just now <laughs> and maybe i'll do this every once in a while when i find like truly amazing awesome things you know that are beyond just your your normal thrifting video also um have you liked this video yet don't forget to do that. That's really helpful for my channel. I also want to call you all to attention to let you know that I would really like for you to subscribe to my channel. I'm I'm in a, the high 2000s for subs. My goal is to get to 3000 subscribers by early June. It would just make me feel good because I've been doing this now for probably about a year and a half and I've had some pretty good early success, but I really would like to have more success. So um, if you... Could subscribe to my channel i would truly truly appreciate it and to those that don't know i do make uh weekly content um every single week even when i don't have a ton of time like this week <laughs> so hopefully next week i'll be able to do something a little more in depth a little more a little more advanced i don't know i don't know what the right word is i'm kind of tired it's been a long day it's been a long week it's a lot sometimes when you're doing therapy and all of your appointments show up <laughs> so it was just one of those things it's hard you know i don't know how many of you side side hustle when you resell or if that's your full-time career but but you know when you do ebay as your side hustle on top of a full-time job it can sometimes feel like two full-time jobs if you're super busy and you're you're still squeezing time into source into your week it can be a lot so <laughs> so yes to combine all that with youtube and a family I'm, I'm a little busy but never too busy to show you some awesome finds so hopefully you learned a little bit more about about toy story and how great it is to find toy story stuff maybe leave a comment if you found amazing toy story stuff and until next week, my name is Melanie. This is Crow's Thrifty Finds. I'll see you next time.